Hello everyone, myself Sandeep from HCL Domino Support Team and I welcome you back to a new video How to Monitor Your Nodes Traveler Server So in this video, we will see two important commands that give you a precise information whether your traveler server is working in healthy state or not So let's begin with the video So this is the first command, this is tail traveler status this command works like a report card for your traveler server. This command gives the information about availability index, time of the last successful device sync, and whether your traveler server needs a database defragmentation or any other noticeable concern on your server. And then based on overall calculation, it indicates whether the server status is green, yellow, or red. So let's start one by one. First thing you should notice whether your availability index is in good state or not. As a standard recommendation, it should be minimum 85% and above. The next thing you should notice is what is the time when your last successful device syncs with the traveler server. This time gap between this current time and this time should not be greater than 3 to 5 minutes. The larger the gap, it indicates the traveler server is not responding to the device sync request. And then next, what you can have a check whether there is an indication for a database defragmentation in this command output. If you are using NTSDB, then there is an issue with the database tables or there is a large number of unfilled pages, then Traveler Server will indicate for you for a defragmentation. Now, apart from the standard note indications, you should also notice whether there are any other specific errors around the server. Let's say, if there is a space crunch on your server or percentage of device things are failing with some error code or your CPU or memory usage is greater than your permissible limits etc 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 the next important command is tail traveler stat show it dumps all the traveler server statistics to the domino console it provides a brief information about how many users and devices you hold on the server how many were online and offline in the last 24 hours how many are configured for TCP and active sync notification. And the more important part you should focus in this output is the percentage of prime sync and device sync that were successful on the server. This output is so detailed that it gives the average time it took for these things. You can refer this sample output displayed on the screen. Your prime sync that is sync between traveler server to mail server and device syncs that is sync between device to traveler server should not fall drastically it should always be 95 percent and above and then further you should focus why the devices are failing and with what error code here you can notice few of the devices that are failing with error code 408 409 and 500 please refer the screen where we have mentioned what does an error code indicate about itself so Finally, if you properly concentrate on these two commands, then you can quickly judge the overall health of your traveler server in a precise manner. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching the video and keep watching for our upcoming videos.